Today, we're going to test your e-commerce knowledge with five questions every e-commerce entrepreneur should know. Whether you're already selling online or just starting out, it's critical that you know these fundamental facts. Not knowing them could cost you a lot of wasted time and effort. But don't worry, if you don't know an answer, we're here to help. Ready to get started? It's quiz time. It's Jessica from Overlow. Before I tell you the first question, let's go over how this quiz works. First, post your answers to these questions in the comments section. I personally grade every quiz. Second, watch this video all the way to the end for extra credit. And third, subscribe to our channel to continue your e-commerce education. If you want to become a successful dropshipping entrepreneur in 2019, you won't want to miss our how-to videos and merchant interviews. Already, clear your desk and take out a pen and paper. Question one, what do you need to start dropshipping? Dropshipping is a business model in which the merchant, that's you, does not keep the products he or she sells in stock. Instead, you purchase products from a supplier whenever a customer places an order. The supplier then ships the products directly to the customer. One of the reasons dropshipping is so attractive is that you don't need a lot to get started, but you can't start a dropshipping business out of thin air either. In addition to Oberlo, which of the following items must you have in order to start dropshipping? A, an inventory management system, B, a reliable supplier, or C, an established business entity like an LLC. Note your answer on a piece of paper so that you can share it in the comments section later. Not sure what the answer is? Then check out this video for some helpful hints. Ready for the next question? Question? Question number two, what makes a great dropshipping product? If you decide to start dropshipping, the first question you'll ask yourself is, what should I sell? When it comes to choosing a product to sell, every entrepreneur has their own recipe for success. But based on what we know from hundreds and thousands of dropshippers, best-selling products tend to fit five criteria. Which of these criteria is not one of the five criteria for a great dropshipping product? A, it's hard to find in stores. B, it's hard to guess the price. Or C, it weighs less than one kilogram or about two pounds. Remember, write the letter that is not one of the criteria for a great dropshipping product. And if this question has you stumped completely, you may want to check out this video. Okay, next question. Question number three. How do you find a reliable supplier? Say you've identified a great dropshipping product. It's hard to find in stores. It's hard to guess the price. And oh shoot, I'm telling them the answer to the previous question. Your next step is to find a reliable supplier who will ship that product to your customer on time and without any promotional material. Oberlo makes this easy because we identify top suppliers with a gold check mark next to their name. We call these suppliers Oberlo Verified Suppliers. So here's your question. Which of the following is not an advantage of working with an Oberlo Verified verified supplier. A, occasional thank you notes from the supplier. B, no promotional materials or invoices. Or C, faster average shipping times. Got your answer down on paper? Great. If this question wasn't easy for you, make sure to watch this video. You'll learn everything you need to know about finding a reliable supplier for your dropshipping business. Question four, how do you create an online store? Once you've found a great dropshipping product, and a reliable supplier, the next step is to set up an online store. To do this, simply connect your Oberlo account to Shopify and start building. An online store can have lots of bells and whistles, but an online store must contain some information in order to build trust with customers. Which of these pages is essential for your online store? Is it A, a shipping policy page, B, a frequently asked questions page or FAQ, or C, an about page? Make sure to jot down your answer. If you need some guidance here, watch this video. We break down exactly what kind of information you need to get your store up and running. Question number five, how do you get your first e-commerce sale? Let's say you're ready to start dropshipping. You found a great product from a reliable supplier and you built a top-notch store. Now it's time to reach that all-important milestone for new entrepreneurs, the first sale. There's no one way to get a first sale. That said, most dropshippers get their first sale in one of two ways. Which of the following is not a common way to get a first sale? A, with Instagram influencers, B, with Google ads, or C, with Facebook ads. Note the correct answer on your piece of paper. Whether you know the right answer or not, we recommend you watch this video for creative tips and tricks on increasing dropshipping sales. Bonus question, how long until your first sale? Before we start grading your quiz answers, we'll give you one last shot to show off your dropshipping expertise. We just talked about how to get that first sale, but a lot of new dropshippers want to know how long it takes to get that first sale. 
We polled successful dropshippers to find that out. Their answer? Well, that's your bonus round question. Tell us, how many days, on average, did it take our group of dropshippers to get their first sale? All right, time's up. Share all of your quiz answers and your bonus question response in the comments section below. I'll grade your quizzes and I'll give you the answer to the bonus question. If you got all the answers right, you're ready to take your dropshipping knowledge to the next level. Watch this video to do just that. I look forward to grading your quizzes. And until next time, learn often, market better, and sell more.